What's going on? Bob Grows here. Another beautiful day in sunny South Florida. I'll bring you guys a little bit of an update here. What's going on in October with the flood and drain system. Uh, if you guys remember from the previous video, I have since moved it from the side of the house to here uh, behind the house and it's doing marvelous, right? Remember when it's on the side of the house, it only receives sun half of the day. Now that it's behind the house, it gets an entire days of sun, uh, except for a little bit of shade coming from them palm trees over there. Uh, let me flip the camera around, but before we get started, remember smash that like button, subscribe. Let's see what's going on. Here is the beautiful flood and drain system. As you guys remember, there are four concrete mixing tubs here, all of which act as a little tray for my flood and drain system. Here are the little flood and drain uh, fittings. Each one takes uh, two fittings. Over here, we have a huge pepper, ahi dulce, with tons of ripe, beautiful peppers. Uh, oh, butterfly. Uh, so let me pull one off for you guys. This is what they look like. There's some here. Down here, you can see where a hornworm uh, went to town, but these are very beautiful peppers. They do have a kind of sweet, mild barely any heat at all if any and uh, it's used for making seasonings you chop them up mix them with some garlic and some onions and you can make a little seasoning out of it that's what the inside looks like and this will be for the bugs to eat this plant is very big very heavy it's leaning over the side of the tote um, Sorry, it's leaning over the side of the flood and drain system. And uh, you can see a lot of little ants there. And I had these cinder blocks holding it down, otherwise it would just flip over. The top of the plant is much larger than the bottom. This is only a one gallon uh, grow bag. So as you can see, there's just so many peppers on here all throughout. You can see some white fly Let's see where's the camera some white fly there i just treat that with neem oil and dish soap uh, it doesn't have to be any special dish soap it could be uh whatever you have but I, I use soft soap specifically maybe i'll do a video on that comment below if you want to see what i use to take care of those pests in the garden there you have a bunch of new little guys coming on Let's move on. Back here we have a brand new basil plant. This is a soil plant that I just placed in the flood and drain system and it gets the nutrients like everything else and I didn't even bother removing from the soil. I had a recent question asking, does that contaminate the system? Uh, I would imagine it does something. Uh, has it affected my system? No. Everything as you can see is still growing absolutely beautiful. Back here we have a hydroponic papaya. Again, on the flood drain system in a one gallon pot. This is a sad Swiss chard. We have some things I'm cloning back here. We got some weeds too. This is a Myers lemon. We have bananas going bananas, right? So this is a banana here. All these came from one plant and they grow little babies like you can see down there. And then I just separate it. So one, two, three bananas. Uh, back here we have a little hedge thing got a fig back here in the back this is this is vietnam white dragon fruit this is going to be my universal pollinator for all my dragon fruit plants here we have another ahi dulce all right there's one right there down here you can see the flood and drain system another banana we got san marzano tomato um seedlings coming up for when i build the next system which will be adjacent to this one right over here it's going to be a pvc six inch pvc nft style i'm not going to be doing the buckets anymore let me see if you guys can see the buckets over there everybody remembers the firehouse buckets back here i have ahi pineapple they're starting to turn a beautiful yellow color these suckers are hot when you bite into them they do have a citrusy taste to it, uh, but the heat comes in really, really fast. 
Over here we have another ají dulce. This is a different variety. This is the second variety, and these are flatter. These are more uh, pancake shaped. Let me see if I can pull one out for you guys. And these have even more tangy citrus flavor to it and more spice. These are the better ones here. You soak these guys in some white vinegar and you just eat them like that right out of the jar. Here we have a helpful hand. Where is he? Right here. A little beetle eating up things. Uh, we have a third variety of ají dulce here. I don't have any peppers on here yet. There you can see more residual white fly, which needs to be treated. This is a poblano. Here we have a red bell pepper, very small red bell pepper. We have banana pepper. And we have the one and only, I think that I've ever seen, hydroponic cactus. <laughs> uh, this is a San Pedro's cactus for those of you that can recognize it. And you can already see that there's about an inch or two of new growth up at the top. Here's another ají dulce. I have a lot of these. I went crazy cloning them. Almost all of these are clones from the original mother plant, but there it is. So there you guys have it. That's what's go growing on in the flood and drain system. Let me give you a quick little peek at how my papaya tree is doing. I'm very proud of this. This is a huge sucker and there is so much more coming. Anyway, guys, thank you all for tuning in. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Remember any and all items I used in these flood and drain systems, including the master blend tomato formula is available in the links down below. Until next time, have a beautiful day. Peace.